In this section, um, you will be learning how to merge two separate um, Excel files into one data sheet to conduct analysis. Um, for example, in the ODE data situation, um, you have student um, performance data in one separate data sheet, and you have teacher information in another uh, Excel data sheet. But you are interested in looking at whether uh, teacher's salary, uh, teacher information, uh, teacher quality, and teacher education background and experiences is related to uh, student academic performances. So in this case, how do you merge the two separate files into one to conduct analysis? First of all, you need to go to um, Ohio uh, School Report Card System to download the data. So for example, I'm interested in 2012 and 2013 school building level data, and I'm interested in teacher information, building teacher information, and I'm also interested in uh, school rating data. This is um, the data set that contains most student academic performance data. So you will save both files on your desktop. So you can click on this school rating, school, um, school rating data and uh, building teacher information data and save them on your desktop. After that, you're out of the Ohio School Report Card system, and on your desktop, you have two Excel files like this. And then you will need to go to um, Virtual Lab to use SPSS file to translate the Excel file, read the Excel file, and save them into SPSS as two separate teacher data and student data too. So from here, I'm going to merge my teacher data with my student data. You can do either one, because I think student data has more information. So I'm going to add the teacher variables into the student variables. So I can start with student data. Here is the student data. So I'm going to go to data, merge file, and you want to add the variables in the teacher data into the student, merge them together. So you see add variables. So you click on add variables. And um, it asks you whether you are going to select an open data or an external SPSS and data file. You can either open the other teacher data file on your desktop, or you can just leave the file there and say external SPSS. You can just say browse. You can either save the SPSS file on the virtual lab desktop, and I'll just say um, the teacher data SPSS file. And I'll say open. And you see here, it asks you, we want to continue. You say, oh, yes, continue. And here, you want to match the cases by the key variables. The key variable means the two the data has a common variable that can recognize one another, can merge one another, or can bridge one another, which is the building IRN number. They, they both have these variables. They can be merged together. So I use the building IRN number as a matching case key variable. So I click on that, and I say matching cases, and I click this building IRN number into the key variable arrow here. So you can see all the teacher variables, variables except the ones that are the same, is going to be merged into the student data. So if you, if you scroll down, you will be able to see that the teacher variables are already merged in this 
old data. So the new active active data set adds the teacher attendance, average year of teaching, all these other teacher variables into this new system. So you'll say OK. And when you scroll back here, you will be able to see the teacher data has already been merged with all the students' variables here. And because they share the same building IRN number, so the two data are identified uh, by that number and merged together. And in this case, you have a new SPSS file that combines the two. So go ahead and try to save them. And at this point, you can save it on your thumb drive, or you, uh, you want to save it on your desktop for later use, um, or on your local C drive, you can do so. So you wanted to save it as a different name. So this time I'll say combined. So I have a combined data set now. I can say save. Make sure you saved on the right locations. As I mentioned, either SOM drive or um, your client's drive, whichever way I prefer, save it in the SOM drive. So I can always carry it. And because you might want to use this data for project one, and further, you might want to use, the pro use, this, use this data again for project two. So when you, whatever data you want to use, think ahead of time what decision making um, situation you want to address so that this data could be used for both situations. And also, you, if you see these empty cells, you might want to uh, delete these empty cells. And also, when you look at the variable view, make sure uh, the strings are changed uh, to numeric. For example, if you are looking at student scores, so for enrollment, it should be numeric because it's a continuous variable. It's a um, ratio variable. So for the re reading, reading scores, it is also a numeric in variable. It's a continuous variable. So you can also copy and paste all the scores into uh, numeric as they are continuous variables or, or ratio or interval scales. So these are all um, attendance. Um, these are all numeric. So then you'll see paste. So you can copy and paste the value type into numeric. And also for teacher variables here, for example, teacher salary should be a ratio num number. And years of experience should be a ratio number. Um, so you can, you can do these things um, accordingly. After you did this, Save them again. Make sure you save the file again so that you don't lose what you, your work. And that in that way, you can go to analyze and do whatever you want to do. And also, if you feel the variables are too much for you to navigate through, go to the variable view instead of the data view. So you will be able to see the variables here with the label and make sure which ones you want to keep, which ones you do not want to keep as your data file um, you wanted to do conduct a further analysis. Um, my suggestion is if you're not sure, keep it there because usually you only have like a hundred some variables to work with. If you go to variable view, it is not as overwhelming as it is in the data view in SPSS. And that's all for emerging data. Thank you.